Just, you know, my normal logo for sale. You know what I'm saying? We got the link in the description. Uh, we got mugs, we got shirts, I got hoodies and sweaters. Uh, you know, you're gonna see me wearing these at all, wearing these from continuing on. May not be in these certain episodes coming up, earlier ones, but as they go on and as I do my, my, my mid week ranks, you will see them. And so, if you would like to, to purchase them, please, it's a description, the link will be in the description and please support as much as you can. Thank you very much. Hello everybody, this, this is Darrell Najee Hampton. This is Najee Talks. And this is my midweek rant. So I'm gonna be ranting about, you know, it, you know, what's been going on with me. And what I've been doing a lot of think like a lot of thinking about, you know, within the past week. So this week I uh, it's been you know on my mind more about you know, asking for help and being being thankful. So, you know, the topic is going to be asking for help. I'm going to be talking about the, the stuff I've had going on in my life about that. Okay. So, you know, just gonna be, you know, express one one thing for you, you know. So, you know, I expressed this in, you know, in another, you know, other video about, you know, me having, me being, you know, raised to not ask for help. Like, it being a real big, like, pride thing for me. And, like, my great aunt that raised me, you know, she was, she wasn't, she's like, she wasn't like that either. Like, that's why it kind of, it made it hard for us to be, like, the type to want to, like, take care of her as we got older you know it made it easier for me to you know go to other you know you know secondary schooling you know and stuff and still still school you know still be schooling out you know still like you know whatever happened to me, you know but I'm still back to schooling and stuff whatever so but because of how she was and how she portrayed herself it made it more comfortable it made, me, uh, it made it a lot more comfortable for me to do that because if I felt like she was weak or needed help young I probably would have got a regular job after I graduated and then just tried to take care of her. And it's funny because she didn't like realize it. She didn't really like raise her bring that stuff up until she saw like her neighbors and like their children taking care of them and stuff. And I'm just like, but I mean, you see what they got? Like they're doing regular stuff. Like, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, but it's like a lot of times there are people that were doing regular jobs and in school, like street, like children. I mean, like, they have to do all this and they're trying to take care of their, their family, yeah, with that. Or they just wouldn't be in school they would, and they would just be working and taking care of their family. So I'm just like, so you gotta think about that. Like, do you really want us to, to suffer, you know, to take care of you right now? Like, or do you want us to, like, you know, make the right, you know, just like make the right, you know, sacrifices now and not take care of you and, and then in the long run? But you gotta have that mindset first, you know, can't be like, originally thinking of taking care of the people of her because if we did we wouldn't even be trying to do more because we'd be concerned about her the whole time and so we'd probably overload ourselves with work and stuff so we didn't really think that way and she didn't even think about it until she saw us so that makes sense to me too i'm just like telling her like mom you didn't raise us like that we didn't see you as weak you know there's nothing wrong with it i mean everything has its pros and cons of course but um but I think I wouldn't have got how, as far as I am and, you know, still going, you know, if it wasn't for that mindset. Uh, but yeah, so, 
But pride is the thing. Pride was a bitch for us. <laughs> like when it comes to like that type, like helping. I have to help with stuff. Like especially school. Like education was like, like you know, because we didn't really care about you know money wasn't wasn't like a suffrage for us from growing up. Like I mean, I know we didn't born rich or anything like that, but. I mean, it wasn't like we were sitting there like, oh, we need to, you know, get jobs it's young so we can make money for the house. Like I said before, like, we didn't think that way. And the thing is, like, you know, my mom was getting, you know, the adoption money from for me and Don. So she was making good money at the time. So, you know, so we didn't really, like, sit there like that. Like, I mean, I know we weren't rich or nothing like that, but, I mean, it wasn't like, you know, like, it wasn't like we, cared, like we were, like, thinking about money the whole time. Like, I wasn't like, oh, I gotta sell drugs. You know, like, it, it wasn't never like that for us, so that's good. Um, but yeah, but like education was the bit like the, the like what we were, you know, main focus for us growing up, you know, which makes sense. Um, but yeah, but pride was huge because it's like if we if I had like an issue with schooling, I would not, I would not do, I was hard, I was not a tutor in person, like I didn't like tutors, I didn't like getting tutors, I didn't, I didn't like doing like summer school <laughs> at all. I tried to do this like home, like school situation with a class I got a D in, and I was trying to like you know basically like take it and cover that up with a better grade. <laughs> uh, but it was a math class, and it was supposed to be like a thing where you can take the books home and you know do the assignments and then take them and then you know bring them in every week, or whatever. Go over them with the person. Pretty much how I'm doing now, which is weird, <laughs> but it's not math. Math, is, math is so much different. But still, I didn't have that mindset to do that. Like. Like, now I can do this home shit. Like, it's like... But also because I don't have anything else going on. So, it makes it easier for me to have this life schedule and be able to focus. But also because I've done this shit for so long. It was so much consistent shit. So, doing, like... Doing just, like, something as simple as this is not hard at all. Like, just like... Oh, like, I did so much studying. <laughs> and so... Um, like now it's just like you just want me to study one thing and this is something I want that I actually enjoy studying <laughs> so it's like I like this like I like reading stuff like it's really enjoyable like now I'm into we're doing a, I'm not studying the module where we were talking about the anatomy and physiology of the using like an inverted mindset like and it's like it's very interesting it's very interesting because going based off like talking about like the doshas three doshas which Express the the um, different traits of yourself, different types of traits of people, like personalities. Uh, but we're using the doshas to be able to do the doshas and elements, like in life, whatever, put them in together, and you can like figure out people's traits and like things that they're that they should have going on in their lives. And if they don't, if it's an excess or if it's a de- deficiency, then you can like figure out how to treat it. And it's really simple, but it's like. But it makes it easier because it's like when you're looking at it dosha wise, just those three, it makes it easier to go off of those. Because the elements kind of add on to it, but it's not like, it's like, so how they do it is like they have like 20 attributes, right? 20 attributes are like pretty much 10, but each one, each one is a, a pair of opposites. So it's like cold and hot, and it's like a light and heavy, you know, like like mobile or like, like non mobile. <laughs> I can't remember the word for it, but the other word, but pretty much like that. Or like, dry or moist you know those are opposites so it's always gonna be one or the other so and it's like 10 of those so it's 10 down and it's like but it's like a pair so it's like and then with the three uh doshas it's pretty much like it can be like whichever one is pretty much gonna just be one it's gonna either be hot or cold moist or dry heavier light you see like it's just simple like that and so basically each one is has those 10 specifically so that's how they are differently. And the thing is, like, that's how you're going to be looking at it at the, pe- at the person that that has that personality. So as you like get them to like fill out these like uh, this paperwork and stuff, um, you know, the charts and stuff that they have you do to figure out which you are, what dosha you are. Then we can go off that and be like, all right. Then we can just like ask questions that go based off that. Like, oh, well, you know, basically you know utilizing it to see if you're actually. Um, fitting that category, you know? So it'd be like, okay, well, it's been, you know, like, in chiropractic where it's like, okay, like, you know, like, with, like, figuring you out, like, learning you, getting the history and stuff, and then first off, like, a gender situation, like, ethnicity, you know, a lot of it is pretty much, it makes it easier to narrow down. 
narrow down what you are and, and go from there. So it's like that, whatever. So categorizing getting get being like, okay, you're a fighter. All right, cool. Or, you know, say, okay, all right, cool. this is what you're going to be having. Like, this is what we're going to be looking for. All right, and then if it's like access to these things, then it's like, probably it's just simple. It's like fucking hot. If it's like, and you just do opposite. So if you're, so if you're like supposed to be hot, and you're hella, like, you're just, like, if it's, like, excess of that subject, then whatever it is you're supposed to be, all we're going to have you do is do the opposite. So all ten, have, it, have you just do the opposite of all of those. So if it's hot, and you're just hella hot, we're going to have you go cold. Right? And if it's, like, heavy, and you're hella heavy, we're going to have you go light. <laughs> like, you see, like, how that works. It's just pretty, like, general like that. Like, if it's, like, moist, you're going to go super moist, you're going to go dry. It is just, like... You know, if you're cold, you're gonna go hot. I mean, like, I mean, not like that, but I mean, like, temperature-wise, it's like we're just like normally telling you like a regular patient, like, all right, you're cold, you just get warm. <laughs> like, it's pretty simple like that. So that's how it works. Just do the opposite, and if it's a, a deficiency of it, then you just do more. <laughs> like, it's like it's pretty simple. I like, put so far. I mean, I'm still getting into it, whatever. But as far as I've I've read up to it, I'll, you know, that's it's, it's very interesting stuff. Though. Um. So another thing I had going on with um, help uh, help issue was not as for help. <laughs> it was during my Tuskegee times and during and it was like around the time when I was like in my last year. Right after my breakup, I was in my internships, the, you know, the lab work that we were doing for the, for the program at the hospitals, at the labs. Excuse me, I would act out. I would just act the fuck out and it was, <coughs> excuse me, it wasn't even on purpose. Like, I didn't even really, like, realize I was doing it, but I kept getting fucking called on, called on. Like, I have so many fucking meetings with these people. Like, they didn't even, it got to the point where they were just like, I was like, what's the dean of the college? And she was like, oh, man, like, you ain't, you ain't about shit, basically. Like, you ain't gonna make it. Like, how you're acting, like, you just keep fucking up, basically. Like, keep act, act, acting out and stuff, and, and just like, damn, like, basically, she was saying I wasn't gonna be shit. <laughs> That's basically what she said. But then the second meeting I had, and it was just, like, the, uh, like, my, 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 like, uh, program advisor and, and, like, the college of our, our, our school. I mean, our, like, our program. And so she was just, like, I mean, our college. Uh, she was, like, so, like, she was, like, always, like, looking out for me and stuff, right? But then, and so this time she was just, like, talking. She was, like, I'm, I have your back, you know, whatever it is going on. And, like, but she was just, like, yeah, just, like, you know, just do it. She was trying, I mean, she was helping me out and stuff, but. But she wouldn't even let me talk, like, explain what was going on. That was my issue. Like, I was just like, you can at least, like, try to figure out why I'm acting like this. Nobody can. Like, like they tried to act like, like a black man can't have emotions. Like, like they don't even care. Like, like you fucking up. You, like, come on. Like, get together type shit. Like, and even my advisor, that was the one that, like, she was like, how my mom was growing up type. Um... Because she already had bad experience with me because I was always late to her first classes. That first class, that was horrible getting on time. Because she already didn't like me. <laughs> so, yeah, but... And then, so, it was funny because, like, when I told her I got into college school, she didn't care. Like, at all. All she wanted us to do was just, like, get our fucking CLS to, uh, certificate so it looks good on the school. Because we had, like, small numbers. But when I did that work there, I did not like it. But the help shit was like, you know, I was like, I wanted them to ask, like, I was going through it, you know, and they, I didn't get help from fucking nobody at that time, doing all that shit, like, the only help I really did get, though, I ain't gonna lie, was my cup with the crew, a whole, like, the dojo, uh, mestre, Pele, I'm sorry, teacher, 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 Pele, um, him and the, the crew, they really, you know, because it was like, every time we went in for a session, um, it was like, you know, he would make sure that we always had, like, a good energy when we came in to start. Like, it wasn't like on some, like, you know, try to get it out while you're in here, like, type of shit, like, you know, 
like people probably do with workouts, you know, or whatever, or running or whatever. But with this one, Kyle Butter, there he was just like he could feel the energy and being ne- the energy being negative and being like go out, come back in, start over, come in with some energy, hi, give me energy, <laughs> ah shay. <laughs> but he would do that. Like we got it done. And there's been times that I would have bad days, long days, or just what you know, because it's, it's I'll be going through. But I was like, that was literally like my true peace every fucking two days of the week. <laughs> but then also it was like, because he was the, because he was the, uh, we were the same age, so pretty much everybody in the in the dojo was around the same age or younger, maybe a little older. Most, but yeah, it was pretty much like that because it was like about six years so There were a few young people, of course, but. But the, so what happened was I basically got to the point that I was hanging out with them a lot more, like doing stuff. Once my I helped them out with like helping, we was like out helping with. We were building, I think we were building like a kind of like a community, not community center, like a little kind of like a little community center in somebody's yard, backyard or something like that. They built a little house, a little building, whatever. It was fun doing like all the concrete and stuff and digging. It was nice, like doing those little little things. It got me out of my head. And people thought I was dead. They didn't know what the fuck happened to me because it was the night before. It was like that, like the night before I saw my ex and I left. <laughs> I went home. Oh man. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was. They were mad at me afterwards because I had no phone at the time. <laughs> they could get in contact with me unless I had Wi-Fi. Mm. It was beautiful though. I ain't gonna lie. Not having a phone for a while. But yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but but yeah, they were like you know pretty much like the, my my peace during the times like going to Batrazados in Georgia, or going to like do some like hot butter presentation in what's I forgot what school we went to. We went to some school. It was like some hours away, and we had rode there. Man, I can't remember, but it was like it was like just like a hand of full of us. Cause they did like a little. It was like I think it was like I think it was for Black History Month. Cause they did like a little event for Black History Month, and so they asked us to be a part of it. Because I guess the guy that was uh, hosting it, I guess he cause he did couple with it too. We knew him because he came to our bachelor. We had we had no. It wasn't a bachelor. We had a. Uh, did we? I think we did. It was a bachelor. It was just like a whole training thing that we did. And it was nice though. Four day ever learning about cup with him. And then they would do like do like little things, little training things and stuff. It was a nice little event he had going on, teaching, teaching people. Like, he was grown, Tiki, like, a couple of Tiki, he had grown a lot. But yeah, but that was my piece for that last year. Like, even like going like hanging out with them at night. Like, they had to be playing games. It was fun. Like, I basically got a chance to be back getting to like getting, being hanging out with under, 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 um, you know, the underdog type people, you know. I miss those. I'm glad I had a chance to you know, interact with them at the last minute before I was done. It gave me a nice little circle to fill up for myself up with. I've been around a lot of different people in that place at that school. Like. <laughs> but yeah, so that was enjoyable for sure. Uh, then I had another situation to ski. So I had a whole like, you know, financial issue happening in my last year because my grant that I was usually getting for uh, being a, a, a dependent of the state. I was getting that yearly every semester, but what happened with my last year, they cut it in half, and I didn't know. That was the only fucking money I ever had, was through that grant. And I didn't even know they cut that shit in half, because usually what I would do is I would use, like when I would get it, it was like 25, I think, every semester, and I think it was 2500. And I think I would use some of it for school, of course, pay it off, pay school off, and then the rest I would use for my pocket, of course. So the thing is, <laughs> It, my last year it got cut off and I didn't know. So it got cut in half. And uh, so I was having a whole issue with paying my schooling off in the fall. So I didn't get to finish paying it off. Um, and then so then in the summer, so in the spring, I, but I was also still, I was just working at the in the labs. And it was like, well, I mean, there was something in my financial situation. And I was like, I was like, I need to figure it out. I was like, literally. Cause I just continue working, and then we'll figure it out. That was like that's what they told me. So I just kept trying to. I like just, I just like kept fucking working, but it was just like what else can I do? Like I never knew what to do, honestly. And so then the last semester came, cause I, I so what happened was I was getting rich in the spring. <laughs> I was working though, so I did everything, worked. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, pass the X exam. You know, I did everything I needed to graduate for the program and everything. They even had me in the events and stuff, like the little luncheon and everything. Like, like I did everything. Like I was doing everything. Like I even got like a yeah. Like I my program, I cleared the program. Like everything was good with that. It was just financial shit. And the thing is, like the week, like literally, like I want to say, yeah. Like that last week, I had to figure out what was going on, right? Cause, so at first, actually, so for a while, cause like, so once I finished, like, once I actually like passed my exams and shit, I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do about the financial shit, right? I li- cause I was done for, I was done early with everything. Like I had like at least like a week or two off until I was until graduation came. Like that was that was actually pretty really cool. Though. <laughs> like we were done with our exams, I finished our exams and passed and shit, so. You know that was done, so we just so we just really just had to wait for like the graduation and stuff. But I was worried about my financial shit. And the thing is, it was like so. Uh, Shaq, my son, brother Shaq, he uh, he actually he had told me and Brandon to uh, both from Philly there about a penalty, about um, he was going to photo- he was going to uh, do our, our graduation for photos together. He was like, you guys just you know meet me at the um, at the at the you know the um unveiling monument you know i'll take you uh the photos and i'm just like bro i ain't got the money for that bro i'm sorry he's like i don't care he's like and i was like also i don't need nothing to graduate <laughs> he's like so he's like i got you <laughs> like that's just like he was like fuck it, whatever <laughs> so he took care of both our both our um our graduation photos so i had my whole gown on this shit and Berman bought me a fucking masonic um it, it was like a Masonic, the, uh, the, um, kind of like the African pattern Masonic one. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> at that, and I had like the, uh, little, um, ah, what was them things? Man, the little thing you put over the other ones, like the little strings and shit that go over there, over your gown too. I got one of those for, uh, when I got inducted into the Research Society. So I got one for that. Paid for it. Got, yeah, taken care of and shit. So that was a good one, nice one to have, whatever. And then the Masonic one, beautiful. So, you know, on top of all that. Yeah, but yeah, it was a really great, really good, you know, experience. And I was still, you know, sad about, you know, the situation. Like I said, I spent like a whole week not doing shit, like, about it. Like, I did, I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was just doing fucking nothing. <laughs> and then so I, when I was out there, uh, I was like chilling at the, at the, um, Aska Monument. The Unveiling Monument. Um, I saw some guy walk me. He feels like you excited. I was like, not really. I was like, I don't even think I'm gonna graduate. I'm gonna walk. He said, why not? I was like, well, because I have a financial aid situation going on. So I need to figure that out before I can graduate. Was, he was like, man. He was like, so he like, and he's like, what you got? And so he was just like sitting there like, so like, so so what you gonna do? I'm like, I don't know. I was like, I gave up a week, like a while ago. <laughs> I was like, my friend just decided to do these photos for me for free. That's the only reason I'm here. Yeah, hey, what shit, man? Man, maybe we can just you know talk to some you know you know professors or or somebody that you you know connected with and see if maybe they can you know co-sign a loan or something. So I'm like, okay. And so like, I'm just sitting there like, man, this like I'm like, man, like maybe you know maybe he's right. Maybe I just need to get back on it and you know get back to grinding and, and fix something else out and use the option he's giving me, right? And so I found out that he's actually he was the ex mayor of Tuskegee. I was like, yo, that was so cool <laughs> to meet him. That was like really dope. He was a really cool dude. Um, but yeah, so then what ended up happening was, so I wasn't able to get any cosigns though. But what happened was, I think like literally like the last, like the week of graduation, uh, someone, one of my, I think, you know, one of the, the, the president, I think, or the dean of, the, of our college, like, uh, like our actual like programs um, was, she was like talking to me about like my advisor, financial advisor. Should I have you been to? Should I have you actually like, went to your yeah, financial advisor and you know see about anything, any options and stuff? And I'm just like, uh, no, nah, I haven't. She was like, all right. She was like, wait. I was like sitting there like I haven't even been to my advisor. Like I've never been to my advisor the whole six years I was there. Like I never had a reason to. Like why would I need to go to an advisor? Everything I needed to do was taken care of. Like financial, aid, like it was like every financial aid I had was. It was either gonna be loans. I got loans. I had a scholarship first year, but that was their first semester. That was it. Uh, but then after that was like loans and fucking work study. I did work study. I was always doing work study, so it wasn't like I had to do anything different. I did work study from the start. 
So I never had to change anything. So I never had a reason to talk to them. So I never, I was just like, I had never talked to them. <laughs> They was like, you, I was, they was like confused, like, wait, really? You didn't, you haven't talked? You was just like, I was like, nah, I never had a reason to. They're like, wow, like, you need to go see them. And I was like, you better hope they are, there's still enough time. I was like, alright, so I went over there finally. I went to go talk to them. Nigga, the whole, all the fucking loans was there, like, <laughs> I mean, for me to take and get. And they was able to, like, not get them except for, I think, one. So one of them was gonna, I think one was like gonna take too long, so I so it was like if you, it was yeah so that was the only issue I had. So then so then that was the last thing we had to worry about. So then the, so then the, the dean was like, uh, let me see if I can call somebody about it. They got any grants laying around or something like, <laughs> like it was really like that. Like she was just like, he got any grants laying around? He needs like you know this amount. You know, do you think he's like you know you can give it to him so he can so he can graduate? Like she really did look out though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I really appreciate her for that. Um, but yeah, so I got the money, and then so then I had to wait two hours in line to get my fucking graduation tickets. <laughs> like, goddamn, <sighs> fuck. <laughs> that whole week was weird, but it was like crazy because it was just so fucking last minute. And then thing is, it was like so last minute that my mom did a last minute trip. Nobody else could make it because it was like nobody knew because I didn't know. And then Dave had to borrow money from Julie about it just to come out. And Martin was already in that Georgia, so it was convenient for him. And Wellington was there, out there, you know, and he was all, I met him because of my brother. So I was just like, that was lucky. So I came down. Dave went, you know, flew to Georgia, you know, rode down with Marlon. It was nice. Uh, but, and then, you know, my mom came, of course, and she was all the place. And I did a run on, she was in the same it was like a whole nice little thing, so, but then you know, very sweet, because you know the whole, you know Eric passing and stuff. So yeah, but, but you know it is what it was, whatever. Uh, and then uh, and then after graduation, I actually ran away from home. Well, I ran away from home. I just ran. We were done by our house and shit like that. <laughs> Everybody left, but I was done. I was like trying to get the fuck out. Like I was tired. I would keep having fucking day. It was just, it sucked because. Because, so like, <laughs> so in the like, after me and Elijah woke up, she, I was trying to say like, you know, you know, talk to her and stuff, but she was like, I can't do this, like, you gotta stop talking to me. So she basically like, told me to stop talking to her, and then she had like, that, you basically unfriended me on, on social media and all that other stuff, right? So I was, so basically, she basically cut me all the way off forever, right? So like, throughout that whole time, this happened, all the way up until like, this, you know, winter break, came back from winter break. But so like she ended up befriending Brandon Pounsey, so the whole friendship shit was his now. So I had nothing there left, nothing left for me, because we were in a relationship and we were best friends. Now the best friend's gone. The, the whole like area is gone to him. So I'm like, but she was like trying <laughs> to to like you know like have conversations and talking stuff more and. It was just weird, cause I was like, I'm like sitting there like this shit's weird, like, cause I'm hurting. You don't get it. Like that shit was fucking crazy. <laughs> so, at the end of May, after graduation and everything like that, I left. I ran out. Uh, me, me and Berman left. We went to his, his parents' house. I was there for a whole fucking month. I mean, but it was it wasn't like I was only just there, like, cause his little brother, um, Tyler. Tylen? Tylen. Tylen. His little brother Tylen graduated from high school, got into a HBCU. I was once in North Carolina, in North Carolina or South Carolina, one of the, one of the Carolinas. And then he actually asked me to um, tag do my like, write recommendation, letter recommendation for a, a scholarship from an alumni organization. This is the first time I was recognized as an alumni. <laughs> I was like, yo, I never really thought about it until now that I am. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. So, you know, I felt really cool, you know, to be, to do that. Um, yeah. But, like, and then, yeah, it was a whole nice, nice thing they had going on with that. Um, I had a good time with them for that last month. Then I came back home uh, in, ju- in June. Been home since, permanently.
Uh, and it's crazy because Vermin didn't understand how I felt. Vermin or Brandon Pouncey. Like, when I was going through my shit, they did not get me. <laughs> but me, of course, men aren't going to be like that if they haven't been through shit before. <laughs> they were trying, though. You know, trying to get me out and do stuff, whatever, of course. But they didn't get it. Brian, but then Brandon had an issue, had somebody like that. He gets it. <laughs> then Vermin had, Vermin had someone like that, too. And he gets it now. So it feels good. It's very good because when he like, came out here uh, a few years ago, um, he was like, I get it now, bro. Like, that shit hurts <laughs> so much. I was like, I know. I know. We just said things now, bro. Heart broke up, bro. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right, next. Shower school. So, so I've never been a big fan, like I said before. Pride, you know, independence and stuff right there. So, uh, you know, I never complained when I would get fails on exams. You know, it, you know, I mean in classes. So, you know, if it would be a practical or written or whatever it was, all the times I kept having them. So I would never complain until I had to complain for my appeal letter. I, I, it really hurt me every time I would have to write them. I was, I hate having to complain. <laughs> like, but I did. I did it. I did it. And I was just like, well, I mean, I had to. So. That's the only, only time that could. But it was funny because every time I wouldn't complain about shit that would happen, the professors would not like acknowledge the fact that I was like a professional about it. I mean, I would get, you know, sometimes I actually would get situations like why would happen. So, like, no reason to complain on those type of things. I do remember one time I did get convinced by my other two classmates to, get to complain though to her. That was fucking weird. I was like, why did I do that? There was no point in complaining. But, you know, my classmates are, you know, have this, these backgrounds where they can do that. Uh, so, after my failure of my, la- of my, you know, my eighth term last summer, they were, like, asking me, like, oh, like, you know, you know, they asked me, you know, how would I want to, you know, do better in like what kind of, like so at first they were like oh, we're gonna have you with a doctor but you know we don't we're not sure who's gonna be helping you, like what clinician's gonna help you uh so they had me call this guy, guy named dr poggenhagen we talked and he was just like how have you been going on so long like and not quitting like what's going on like do you have a gun for punishment <laughs> and i'm just like i just don't like to quit I, that's all it is i just didn't want to quit so I kept going, and even though I finally got expelled, but I at least got all the way to a fucking clinician level. So, uh, so I'm not. So it's not like I just was like incomplete. I got all the lessons I need to learn. I got all the re lessons I needed to learn. So I'm fucking master in this bitch now. I feel great. I feel great. And I learned the skill, my adjustment skills so well that I know that shit now, and I master that shit now. I can't forget it. Which that's great. I'm really glad that I got that far. Um, but yeah, so Bobby Hanging was just like, yeah, like, you need to be more adamant about your opinions. Like, you deserve it. Like, you're a fucking doctor. And like, you know, you don't be acting like a student. Like, because especially at that point, I was I was already a doctor and then getting clinked. It's just basically, like, yeah, like, once you get your white coat, you are a doctor until you get licensed, of course. But you're just unlicensed doctor. That's what you're able to treat. You would be in the clinic if you're not a doctor, if you weren't a doctor. Like, they didn't believe that you were capable enough to treat patients. Treating patients is important. I mean, like, you know, like, it's in really high level stuff. Like, cause, like when I couldn't do anywhere, and they realized I didn't have the skills and shit for in the summer, they wouldn't let me touch nobody. Like, it's a difference. Like, when you're able to touch or not, it's a huge difference. Like, they wouldn't just be like, oh, well, you're not really, not, like, you're not, le-, like, it was like, you know, they, if, if they didn't feel like you were, like, you know, good enough to do this shit, you know, they wouldn't let you. That's the point. So, you're like, you're a doctor now, like. You need to be like, passionate about what you got going on, like adamant about your opinions and stuff. Like, and he's right. He was right. He was right. You know, saying so. You know, I learned my lesson from that, and I was able to be more adamant about how what classes I had. To, I was taking, you know, stuff I had to learn and stuff. But I also learned to be humble when it came to like the clinical experiences and stuff. I was able to learn a lot more by being humble and being, you know, being able to like shut down my pride to learn. Because there was a lot of stuff. There were certain things that I really was like fake it till you make it type but I have to like I have to like say fuck that shit bro and just listen and learn and do you know it helped I learned so much
um, you know, so another person that's, you know, another, you know, situation has been going on with me, great for situation, you know, since I met, you know, Tay Smith, <laughs> she did it herself, <laughs> you know, she, uh, I've been, you know, she's been helping me out with, like, she had, you know, initially, you know, you know kick-started my Najee production, you know, business, and so she was, like, the mother, and you know, Najee talked to this, this pretty much like her stepchild, <laughs> but I'm always asking her for advice, like, every time we get a chance to, like, hang out, I make sure to, like, talk to her about certain things, and, and, like, she's even the reason I even got, you know, more into, like, I mean, I went to, you know, the photography stuff already, but she was, like, telling, asking me to, if I want like, you know, record some stuff for her. So I was like, all right. Yeah, so I, t- I did that and helped me, you know, got me more comfortable with the camera. So then when I got one, you know, now I'm like, okay, well, I get it. I, you know, it's just almost like the one she had, like. So, I'm, you know, like, it makes a lot more sense. And I liked doing that. You know, I liked being in the studio and, you know, with these people. And, like, they're cool people to be around. And, you know, I can't wait to, get, you know, get back out there and stuff, whatever. And she paid me to be there, too. So, you know, I got to enjoy that. Yeah, but... But I did enjoy just being in that environment, which is, was cool. So, but like I said, I'm always asking. Like you know, I, we're actually gonna get together. Like she has an event coming up this Friday uh, for like her, um, for like you know the people like when she ever she goes like downtown and, like helps out with the homeless. And so like there's an event going on this Friday in downtown LA. It's gonna be stuff like 11, I wanna say. So we're gonna be at there like 10. Um, if the crowd's not ready, she says she can pick us up. So. I'm excited. You know, I haven't been out there in a while, and every time we go out, we do, like, events with her or whatever. It's always fun. I always have a good time. I always enjoy the people with it. You know, I'm excited. It's going to be another good weekend. Uh, so, like, with financial, you know, assistance, you know, I've only really, like, throughout my time, this time, I've been having any financial issues. I've, you know, I, you know, being out here, whatever. It's been on... You know, the only people I've been help, getting help with, help from, is my mom and Dave. Because Dave was in med school and he was like, he actually told me about getting another grant for more money. So I was originally, did, I originally just got the lower, the, the basic. And he was like, bro, get that plus, that grad plus, like, you need that. <laughs> like, you need those extra few, few Gs. Like, because if they don't want to do the work, like, you gotta, you, you, need, you need that money. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got it. But yeah, so we're basically on the same thing, like, with the money shit, like, having, like, hella money, like, and so there'll be times when we want to borrow, like, like, you know, I would need some money, need to borrow some money from him at the end of my term when I run out, and he would, like, or he would, he would need to borrow money from me, you know, but we both had, knew that we were getting the money back when we came back in to school, so we was like, alright, we're, we're gonna, we know that we're gonna be able to give each other that money back, those dreams back, so, you know, so we were, like, really comfortable that way, and then with my mom, I would borrow from her, uh, you know, just, but I wouldn't, but her, you know, it wouldn't be as much, you know, but it would be times when I would, like, you know, need some money for, like, you know, bills, you know, rent, stuff, like, I would just, you know, I wouldn't, like, you know, I wouldn't save, well, my mom didn't teach me how to save, so I'm bad with that, <laughs> I'm learning, though, I ain't gonna lie, like, this month has been really a real testing of, of my, like, financial, like, organizations, <laughs> like, <laughs> Really, because I like I was saying, like I wasn't like it's been a heavy month, you know. EBT I had to got canceled, I had to read, I applied for that shit. Um, I job I was working was legal, didn't get paid for it. Unemployment still haven't got the addition, so it's just been getting two of every two weeks. So, but I've been and then with car issue, whatever, so loan stuff, but it's still great for that, you know. Probably been helping guys out with everything. I'm gonna get that later, whatever, with detail about pop, but, um, but, um, but, but just like, kind of like thinking about it, like, uh, I was able to, you know, to, able to analyze the, my bills, like, right now. So, like, so I was able to, so since we haven't been able to actually, since Papa hasn't had, like, hasn't, we're not. He's not forcing us to pay rent this month, just like to pay him back for like the parts. So that's good. So now I just have to focus on that and my fucking uh, school bill. Those are pretty much both 600 and basically and 650, really. So the um, so right now, so I'm like, okay, so now, so I was able to get like 200 from Dave um, right now, and I was just uh, I was trying to use like the, my the money I've been <laughs> investing it with through him, but. 
Um, I think I'm just probably just gonna pay him back the money. It was like 200, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna pay him back and be like, guy, right, whatever. Like, I don't really want to like take it out of the, out of the investment because he had just took it out of his account at the moment, so it wasn't like it wasn't like he took it out of the investment first. So I just I'll just wait, and you know, and if I you know I get more money and shit later on, then I'll just give him the, that money back. I needed that right now, or whatever. So the 200. That 200 is that, that and then whatever I already had in the other so I've just been able to like split it up the payments because I so my onion so uh, my car insurance was able to push over to the to the middle of the month so I was able to pay so I was able to like roll it over to now to pay it off and stuff like the end of the last month so I had to pay that off for one phone one car and then I was other car I was able to use I had to pay off my law firm you know for the uh that's helping me with my credit score and then a uh, credit card bill that I just started. So those two were on something else. And so I was able to, you know, knock those both out in the same week. Like, yeah, this yeah, this week. Um, and so I was like, oh, you know, pretty much that was all I was mostly worried about. Like those big bills were like that and, you know, the other two big, bigger bills, of course. But, but because I was able to get, you know, I already have, so I'll be getting 280 for my unemployment. So 200 take from that, plus the 200 they gave, not 200 they gave me, uh, but so Double D gave me 200 dollars for my for the part. So I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much for that, bro. So I'm using that for that for the part, and then the other 200 for is gonna be. Uh, so whenever when the car gets fixed, you know I'm gonna be um I'm gonna work for that 200, knock it out with the deliveries, pick up the back, it's full 600. Then I could just be done, and then all I have to worry about is uh, school payment. Like that's honestly the only thing I have to worry about right now. So, but until that happens, so I'm like, I just gotta be, I just I gotta be peaceful about the week. <laughs> that's all I can really do. So, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. Though. It has been hard for me to be relying on people. For help more because you know since I've been back, yeah, you know, I've been down been relying on me a lot more than you know than bef- than would have been before. Less than he has has been, but it does like you know does you know kind of and not like taking a, a toll, but yeah, I'm not like stressed about the shit. But I mean, I can't. It was like issue. It's not like that. Whatever. I'm not, like stressing about the shit. But I mean, I'm just saying like like as I'm because I'm not like. I'm not the little bro, like even though I am genetically, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm the middle now, so I'm basically looking over down with certain a lot of stuff, and just like so, I don't really like sit here and like expect help from people. Like Dave will help me with certain things, like he just now, whatever. But you know, like rare, like that, cause like yeah, like I'm trying, I try not to ask him for stuff, whatever. And then, but like my mom's gone, so that's out the window. And then when he stopped doing school, like when he was done with school, and he didn't have the money like that either. I mean, he just started residency, so you know it's not like he's like making big bucks yet, but it's still better than what he was doing for this last year. So, but you know, like I don't really have that expectation, you know. Cause, so like with Papa's situation, you know, just me having to letting, cause like I said, I didn't have these things like of being the person to ask for help. So that not being a thing for me. So especially now with me having, you know, having, you know, other people to have that I are relying on me. Cause like when I'm sick, she was relying on me. Dom was still relying on me too. So I just, I had both on me. <laughs> you know, it made a change. Change the game though. Because when she got sick. But now she's gone, but, you know, Dom's here, but then, you know, me and Papa doing all helping him get him growing and, you know, me letting him do his own thing with, with you know, giving him the, you know, car to work. And so he's getting, becoming a lot more independent with this stuff, whatever. I mean, I wish he could, you know, we could figure out another, I don't know. I'm just glad that he's doing better, though, honestly. But help situation, like, for me. So, like, with Papa's situation, like, I was bad with help, asking him to help me. Like, I was, like... So prideful, I was like, yeah, I just do this shit myself. <laughs> I was like, we just can get, I was like, just like, give him the parts and I can do it. I could just like, look it up and stuff. And I probably never like, said anything about it. <laughs> and then like, eventually, we had like, kind of like, had a like, like, argument about shit. Like, <laughs> whole ass argument. We're pretty much the same fucking person. <laughs> like, me and Papa. <laughs> like, are, are fucking two peas in a pot. 
both creators, both fucking like generous, both like fucking selfless as fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because that I'm just saying, you guys are. Like, he was like, I was like talking about that earlier, but it was weird. He was just like, you guys are the same fucking person. <laughs> he was like, that's why. <laughs> you guys don't fucking ask for help or like say you're gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it was then so I found out so I this just told my pride finally asked him <laughs> the weird feel uh, can you help me with you know fixing the car and he was just like that's all I needed like was that a horror <laughs> uh, and then we had to figure out like how he's not gonna like directly say the no <laughs> but when I had to finally ask him then it made it a lot easier to do to work with him now we're just now we're a team me and him and Dom work together with stuff whatever really, me and we got the hood on, fender on. He finally get the radiator out. We're gonna fucking, we're gonna get the fan. We get the, some fans broke, so we're gonna. We already got the radiator, but we're gonna go uh, to uh, our part shop today and look, up, look for some fans. You know, so we can get that radiator on, right? But yeah, I'm pretty, pretty grateful for everything that's been going on, though. So I'm really thankful for all that. Thanks for listening. Namaste. Thank you for watching the episode. Before you go, please subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notifications. Because I know you don't want me to continuously send you DMs and text messages every week. Instead, you just get notifications every time I upload an episode, Sundays, and then when I upload my, upload my mid- midweekly rants on Wednesdays. Thank you, and have a good day.